Hi, Chris here from Dot Product, going through an out of the box experience. Quick tips, tricks, do's and don'ts with the DPI 8 handheld 3D imager. So, upon opening your box, you'll notice there's three important components in here. The first is your DPI 8 user manual. Here I have a DPI 7. Expect to see DPI 8 with the latest version of our product. And it has everything you need to know about using 5 3D software. And it also includes your warranty terms and conditions sheet. Please be sure to review everything in here and refer back to it as you need to. Next you'll see this box for your NVIDIA Shield tablet. This is actually just the box, so for informational purposes or any transport purposes you might, you might need. Your actual Shield tablet is already pre-installed into your DPI-8 kit. Next we bring out the protective carrying case, which contains everything else you need to run 5.3D on the DPI-8. Go ahead and open it up. And there's several key components here. First, you're gonna see your test certificate. Please hang on to this. It certifies your calibration of your sensor in case you ever need to refer back to it. Also, some documentation on the sensor and the tablet. As far as the physical pieces you should have, first off, your sensor, tablet, and brackets, all pre-installed in the main pocket there. Next, you should have three USB to micro USB connectors. This is what connects the sensor to the tablet. You only, you, you only need one of these, but there's two backups as well. Next, you have your handle, which we will attach to the device in a second, and your USB charger, as well as connecting cable to transfer files to your computer. Pretty straightforward here. And they fit in like so. So the first thing we're gonna do here is attach the handle to the DPI-8. It's important to note that I'm always placing the tablet face down. You never, under any circumstances, want to set it the other way around. You have to protect this sensor at all times to preserve your calibration and functionality. Always set it face down. So to install the handle, you are going to loosen this screw right here until it fits right in and then tighten it back up. Align it however you would like, straight down the middle. And there you have it, a DPI-8 handheld 3D imaging kit. Next, we're gonna make sure that the tablet's all set up. This is a spring-loaded contraption. That's what keeps the tablet in place. So if you wanna push on the right side and lift on the left, it'll come right out. We can take off this protective shield here. And there you have it, your NVIDIA Shield tablet running Android. Let's power it on, this small button on the left here. Hold it for a couple seconds and just wait for it to turn on. Once you get your tablet up and running, it's important that you connect it directly to your Google account over Wi-Fi and that you run any necessary updates to the Android operating system, you always want to be on the most up-to-date version of the operating system. Alright, we're live. So you can go ahead and swipe up the screen and there you see your home page, 5.3D pre-installed right on the front there. Let's go ahead and put the tablet back into the DPI-8. You see here, there's that green mark there. That's where your micro USB connection is going to go in. So you want to make sure that lines up on the same side as the connection here. So that'll be the right side, which is also the spring loaded side. So go on right side first, push it in, and then snap it into place. You're all set. So to connect the tablet to the sensor, you're going to need one of these cords here. And it's pretty straightforward. Now you're going to connect these to each other 
and then plug it in on the side. This is an important part here, always be careful uh, removing or connecting this port uh, as it can be touchy. But you have that green mark there which is exactly where it's going to go in and just pop it right in. You're now all set up and ready to use Phi 3D 2.0 on the DPI-8. So you can go ahead and click Phi 3D. Allow the app Phi 3D to access the USB device. Press OK. Here's your end user license agreement. You can scroll through and read that and just be sure to acknowledge you understand. And now we're live and ready to go. In order to scan, you're already on the, the right page here, scan, file, session. So on the scan tab, you're going to press start mapping, but you do have to wait for the warm up time. It's about 15 minutes for the system warm, out, warm up and about 30 seconds for the session warm up. As this is a demo here, we'll do a short warm up time, start mapping. So as you see, I'm getting this green and yellow feedback. That's real time quality feedback on the points that I'm collecting. So let's go ahead and make a quick map, quick map of this corner of the room, painting it all green and yellow. Okay, now we're gonna finish mapping. Let it process for a second. And there you have it, your first 3D model created with the DPI-8 handheld kit of the corner of the table here and your case that it came in. You can translate that, move it around right on the tablet and follow the tabs up here to navigate through for measurement, export, targeting, optimization, etc. That's your complete out of the box experience. To, to install everything back into the case, you're going to do as follows. First and foremost, make sure you unplug this connection here. It is again a connection that you need to protect. So pull it out always before you put it back in the case. You have to make sure that you're not putting any pressure on it when you go to insert this back into the case. Unscrew to remove the handle. Like so. Return the connector to its original position. And the tablet to where it was when you began. Close, snap, and you are all set for your next job.